Happening today, it is Intersex Awareness Day, referring to people born with sex characteristics outside the norm. The Day of Awareness is observed around the world to highlight human rights issues they face. ABC4's Jared Jotanini has more with what's happening across our state to help with this group of people. Now folks are spending Intersex Awareness Day educating people with these flyers here. Now it's a collaboration with the Utah Pride Center who say it's filling the negative impacts from COVID-19. The circle is described as unbroken and unornamented, symbolizing wholeness and completeness. The intersex flag was created back in 2012. Intersex people are born with sex characteristics that are not typical, fit into the male and female binary. And represents people like activist Courtney Skaggs. We are here. Intersex people have been in our communities for thousands of years. Skag says awareness is about education and the needs of the intersex community are threefold. Demanding action. They are body autonomy and adequate health care practices. We deserve government recognition and laws that protect our bodies. Skag says she was born intersex. I myself was operated on at six weeks old to normalize my genitalia. And according to the United Nations Free and Equal Campaign, about 1.7% of babies are born intersex in the U.S. Babies who grow up oftentimes relying on services offered by the Utah Pride Center. That the other impact that COVID has was decrease our funding. And despite the Utah Pride Center's doors being closed because of COVID-19, the center says resources for those in the intersex and LGBTQ community are in higher demand. Because people are alone, they're feeling marginalized, there's increased rates of anxiety and stress, and so people are, are, are reaching out for services. Skag says those services helped her. <laughs> and a day of awareness could save someone's life. We boldly proclaim that we are intersex, not invisible. Now again, because of COVID-19, a majority of the Utah Pride Center's services are online. They're virtual. For a link to more resources, you can head to our website, abc4.com. Jared Jotanini, ABC4 News.